A medical official's guard our private information is also under scrutiny tonight. A woman found out her personal information was leaked in that cyber attack on the First Nations Health Authority. But as CTV's Isabella Zafarisi reports, she had been kept in the dark until CTV News started asking questions. Saying she's scared and worried, Jacqueline Warall shows us the numerous calls she's placed to the First Nations Health Authority looking for answers. I was totally shocked and I just feel it's a violation of my privacy. Her sensitive information was leaked in a recent cyber attack and Worrell had no idea it happened. In fact, she didn't know until CTV News told her. I've been calling them since she first contacted me. CTV News confirmed employee and patient information, including client access to mental health resources and feedback about a medical imaging experience, were uploaded to the so-called dark web on the internet. Despite several phone calls to the organization, Worrell says she's received little information. Yeah, they should be contacting me. It's not my job to, yeah, they should have contacted everybody who was affected by this. On May 13th, the Health Authority says it became aware of unusual activity on its corporate network. It says it uncovered evidence that employee information and limited personal information was impacted. The province says the Health Authority took action to protect all patients. They've taken this very seriously. It's obviously devastating when this occurs to any organization. I'd like some answers and some everybody to be notified and to be notified of what steps they're taking and what information of mine has been leaked out. The first Nations Health Authority says as its cybersecurity experts confirm certain information has been accessed, it will notify any impacted individuals as appropriate. But it needs to be sure it's giving people a full and accurate understanding of the impacts. I feel like I'm by myself with no nowhere to turn and no answers. I don't know what to do next. Worrell says the experience has tainted her trust in the system and that she'd like to know what the health authority is going to do to make sure this doesn't happen again. Isabella Zavarisi, CTV News, Burnaby.